Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com and Posted Outdoors. Uh, the fly we're going to be tying today is Crystal Meth. It's a lot like our sucker spawn pattern, but we use a couple different products. Uh, we use this a lot when we go up for up in Steelhead Alley. Uh, pretty simple to tie and uh, will be a successful fly. I hope you enjoy. Okay, the fly I'm about to tie here now is uh, my Crystal Meth pattern. I tie it on a size 12 Daiichi. 1120 hook. I'm going to use a 1 8 inch bead, gold bead on it. Give it a little bit of weight, get it down a little faster. Uh, I use a red unithread. This is the, the kind of thread I like to use. I like to use red. It'll give it um, give it like a blood vein down. Like it's, it's supposed to represent a cluster of eggs. So it'll give it like a blood vein going down through the eggs. It makes a nice little effect to it. I'm going to do start it on the hook, like you always do, wrap it forward and wrap it back over itself. Cut my tag end off here. Uh, just a few materials in this, it doesn't take a lot to tie it, and it's really, really good for um, Great Lakes steelhead and salmon. We use it to catch our salmon when we go to New York, Do it a lot. use it a lot in Erie for steelhead. Uh, we use this for trout too, our stock trout, I do real well on it with stock trout. Um, First thing I'm going to use is some Crystal Flash. This is rainbow color. Uh, usually I like to try to come close to matching whatever color of uh, Crystal Meth I'm tying. Use a little bit of Crystal Flash. Gives it a little bit of flash out the back. Um, I wrap this down. You see I'm going to wrap it down towards the butt of the hook here. But wrap it a little bit forward and then I'm going to pull this back over and wrap it down over top of itself. So I get a little bit more than just a couple strands I put down at the beginning and wrap that back. Okay. Now I want this to stick out here a little bit. Not real, 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 real long, but I do want a good tail out there so get some good flash out the back end. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to use is uh, diamond pearl, braided diamond pearl. This one is in uh, fluorescent shrimp pink is the color of this one the way I do it is I cut this off and uh, I'll measure a piece of it out and I'll fold it in half okay and find the middle of it you you'll see I have two ends and then I'll find the middle of it and I'm going to tie the middle of my long piece down here on the shank like always a soft loop and then wrap it down tight Okay, and then I take the two pieces that I have, and I'm going to fold them back. Fold them back to the back here. Now, you're just going to tie this the same way we tie sucker spawn, okay? We're just going to make a couple loops. We're just going to keep looping it up to make it look like eggs. I'm just going to fold it over on the hook, as you see. And then we're going to put about two loops to tie it down. Okay? And we're just going to keep doing that. And I'll go off to the sides. I'll do one on one side. The next time I'll put it on the other side. Just to make it a bigger pattern. See that? I'll switch to the other side this time. One up the middle again. Just keep switching back and forth. Just to give this some body. So it's just not just a row of it on top. Some guys tie it just a row on top, and that's fine, but I like to have a little bit of meat there. Give them, attract them, give them something they want to eat. Okay. And you're just going to keep folding this over until you get up to the end here. Okay. Get one more on there, I think. Right behind the bead. Just the same thing over and over and over. You're, you're making the loop, pinching it down. Oops. And then we're going to finish it off right here behind the bead. Okay. And we're going to cut our ends off. Let's back, wrap it down, make sure it's good and wrapped down tight there. Right behind your bead. Okay, now I'm going to do the half hitch with my fingers on this. 
so I can wrap up behind the bead here and, and get my knot tied off behind the bead so it's not showing. Oops. How about that? I'll do about five half hitches on this. Just um short, secure. And that's all there is to this fly. It's a really, really simple fly to tie. Um, and really, really good. You should have a box full of them if you're going to go up to Erie or any of the Great Lakes for that matter. Uh, we use them on Ontario for our salmon. Like I said, we, this is what we get our brown trout on while we're up there. And as you can see, like I said before here, pop down the vise a little bit. You can see on the bottom it puts that red vein, like I said, the blood vein or whatever. And uh, got your little flash in your tail, and you're all set to go. This is a very productive fly, and I suggest you tie a bunch of them if you're going to be fishing for steelhead. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sean Holsinger from HolsingersFlyShop.com. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget that everything we have on this fly, all the material used, we carry at our website. And uh, Please don't forget to check us out, WholesingersFlyShop.com, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube so you can be updated on all the latest videos we put out.